Let's go over this handout. When you first open your computer, you will see something that looks like this screen. It has the taskbar, it has these shortcuts, uh, and that is called the desktop. The next one, this is the, that is found right here, and it is called the start button. If you look on your keyboard, you also have a key that looks like this, which is called the Windows key. Uh, but on the desktop, this little button here is called the Start button. The bar across the bottom of your screen, I'm showing it on your hard copy handout here, or across the bottom of your screen, that is called the Task Bar. Does Windows 10 have continual updates? Yes, sometimes during class it does have updates and it uh, delays you a little bit. It supposedly has a fast boot up mode, which just means how quickly it gets going. I don't find it to be that fast. And it does have a voice mode called Cortana, but we do not have access to that in our class. When you click the startup button, you're going to see these things. So you're going to see a menu, and you're going to see an area with tiles, which is similar to the Windows 8 operating system. If you have that at home, you will notice that you had an area with tiles. Okay, so if I click it, here's my menu. And here's an area with tiles. You also have a settings here. You won't be able to change too many settings on your computer at school. You also have a little icon here, which you can use to sign out or change account settings. And you also have a power button here. And when you click the power button, this is how you will shut your computer down every day. Click the Start button, click the Power button, and then you click Shut Down. So you also have a Power button. Uh, you have a Settings. And you have a Log Out button, also called... I don't really have a name there, but it's a little... Um, it's like, um, I'm just going to call it the sound, sign out button. It has a little silhouette of, of a person there, right there. Okay, if you Type the word 2016 after clicking the start button, what happens? What happens is it will find the word 2016 program. So if you click the start button and start typing, it finds word 2016. And if you type any program, it's going to look and attempt to find it. So it finds the application. You could also type the name of a file in there. It would look for that. Okay, so it finds the application. If you type the word 2016 after clicking the search button, what happens? So it's the exact same. It's probably more intuitive to use the search to look because it tells you start typing to search for apps, files, and settings. So I'm actually going to put the same in, same letters in, and it will find Word. So you can find your application either from the Start button or from the Search button. So that's the answer to number four. What happens? It finds the application. Same answer. Which is the fastest way to find your application, the menu 
or the two above methods. The menu takes a while. If we wanted to open Word, we have to find Microsoft Office, and then we have to expand by clicking on this arrow, and then we have to find Word down here at the bottom. So it's much faster to just type it in and find it. And if you type it in and it finds it and you click on it, it will open Word for you. Which is the fastest way to find? So obviously uh, the fastest way is using your search or your start button. To pin an application to the tiles area, do this. Okay, so let's pin an application and look at the steps. Okay, so the first thing is you, you I'm going to click start. I'm going to type the application name. Often you just need the first few letters. It will find it. And then it's going to display. It displays the application uh, in a blue box. To pin the application, you are going to right-click on the application name. And then you are going to click Pin to Start. So I already have mine pinned. Uh, let me think of, I do not have, I do not have Excel pinned here. So I will use that as my example. Excel is another application. I click the Start button. I type the name. It finds the application, and it's in this blue box. I right-click on that blue box, and then I click. And when I say click, it always means a left-click. The only time it's different is when I say right-click. So I'm going to just click on pin to start. Now, I could click here to open Excel, but I don't want it open. I'm just going to show you that here, now, I can very quickly access Excel uh, from this Start Tiles area. Okay, right-click on the Start button to see a menu that looks like Windows 7. So when you're in Windows 7 uh, and you click, you just re do a regular click on your Start button, uh, it looks something like this. And so they've allowed you if you're moving up to Windows 7, to still get this, but in order to do that, you have to right-click on the Start button to get that menu and be able to reach options like your Task Manager, which you probably don't know what that is. Let's move on to number 8. Right-click the Start button to reach Settings and change the background, etc., if you wish. And again, at home you would be able to do this. You could go to the Settings and you could change your background and your resolution, but here at school they lock you into uh, what you will be able to see. Click on the task view icon. It is on, it is on the task bar. The task, let me just get the task bar. It is on the taskbar. It displays all the open displays all the open windows. So right now, if I come down and click this task view, what's going to happen is, and I have two monitors, so you don't see all of them. Some of them are on my other monitor, but it's showing every window that I have open. And that's one way to switch out of my Word window and change to, let's say, my File Explorer window, which is on my other uh, screen. So the taskbar um, has this task view icon right here. If you have many windows open, it's just a nice, easy way to change. You can also change here on the taskbar by, let's say, clicking the Snip tool. That just opened it. I'll minimize it. 
Anything with a little blue line underneath it on your taskbar means that it's open. There are, uh, there are ways to pin things to your taskbar. Um, if you open, I will put Outlook on here. If I right click, I can pin to my taskbar. But it doesn't behave well here at school, and that's why I don't do it. But at home, that's something you, you have the option to do. Circle the action center, which lets you switch to touch screen mode. Okay, so I just want to show you that. If you have a, a computer at home with touch screen, you can click here, and you would change to tablet mode, and that would let you use your finger to uh, touch your screen and get some of the commands. What is the extension of Word 2016 files? The extension is period docx wordpad files. By default, uh, the native extension is period rtf, which stands for rich text format. Notepad. By default, Notepad is a period, TXT, that is the extension. And the most common photo file is probably the JPEG. You'll see it that way, and you may see it this way. Open the File Explorer window. Search for it and pin it. Uh, some students have it on your taskbar, and some of you don't. So. Once your File Explorer window is open, and it looks like this, which tab do you need to click on to find these tools? So notice the navigation pane. We have details and medium icons. So you can see it doesn't look like this. So you have some tabs across here, and it is this tab, the View tab. That is what gives you this. I gave you a picture because I do want you to know how to turn on and off your file extensions. So I will show you that right now you can see period XLSX. That's the Excel extension. You can see a docx extension. I can hide those. And they haven't they are not displayed, but every file always has an extension. And uh, sometimes it's a good thing to be able to see them. How do you turn on your file extensions? You will just have the check in this box. If you want to turn them off, you again come to the View tab and take the check off. Okay, uh, the SNP I'm going to cover in a separate video.